Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner. In this video we're once again taking a look at Carvin Vanguard's OCG tournament results that were posted over the last couple days, particularly from this past weekend. And we got a couple tournaments to take a look at. They're all team based, so the results presented here have to be taken with a grain of salt because of the environment that is teams where some people can be just be hard carried by their teammates in spite of how good or bad their deck is. And with that being said, let's dive right into this. So our first tournament is the BCF Hakata Standard Teams, of which we only have one team no listed, which is Nova Grappler, Kagro, and Royals getting first place. Novas and Kagro both went 5-1. and one. Royals are unknown. The Kagro list is pretty standard. I do need to point out that it is playing 6 draws, which is used to maintain hand against the more aggressive decks coming into the format to help it dig for Dragonic Waterfall, which is your win condition against certain clans. And the 5k shield, while it does suck, it's still okay because you're playing a force clan and most of the field is non-force, the exception being spikes. So you can still, oh no, I guess Dimension Blaze coming to the fold now too, but like against Axel and Protect clans, the 5k shield with your 13k base vanguard still allows you to block some lines. And then they're also playing 10k vanillas, which is just used to have extra shield options versus certain pushes. And then the Nova Grappler list is the Ashura Kaiser, King of Sword, Queen of... I don't know what her name is list. It's the one that's designed to be an anti-protect clan. Uh, it's the anti-meta deck, so to speak. And it's picking up a little bit of steam. Like, this is, what, the third top I've seen for this deck? So if you're a Nova Grappler enthusiast and you're wondering how to make your clan not shit, take a look at this list and build it. We're getting these promos, and they've got their proper text now. Bushiroad announced their errata, thank god. So, really, there's no reason why you shouldn't give this build a shot. It's really intuitive. So that's it for that, and then you've got the Royal Paladin deck. Uh, Royals having a little bit of an upswing. Uh, I still think they're pretty low on the pecking order, but they are above Aqua Force and Mega Colony, as far as like their overall representation goes then we have the second tricrits vgcs which is a standard tournament of 32 teams first place kagro grand blue oracle think tank second place grand kagro mega colony oracle think tank third place oracle think tank grand blue spikes and fourth place mega colony grand blue oracle think tank with our distribution of 21 kagro 18 ott 17 grand blue 10 dimension please eight spikes six bugs six royals six aquas four tachis and no novas now while it's while you probably think I'm happy that there are a lot of Grand Blue decks present, thing is though, most of them have some pretty iffy records. In fact, a lot of the teams presented here have like really like not fantastically records. Like yeah, this first place team looks solid on, but they went four three four three and five and two. So the OTT deck did the best of them. Uh, the Cogro deck is a pretty similar to the one I shown before. This Grand Blue list is pretty basic. Like. There really isn't a whole lot I think you can change up from this list compared to like other Grand Blue lists. Maybe just how many Evil Shades you run, how many threes you play, whether you want to learn Night Career. But this is a pretty good starting list for Grand Blue. And then you have this Oracle Tank Tank here, which runs the Grade 2 promo that we are getting right away in North America. It's a Battle Sister, it's 8k, and on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, if you have 10 more cards in hand, she gets plus 10 and a crit. It's a really good pressure unit that you just build up naturally before just playing the game i don't know if i would max out on four but two to three seems like a good number so that's our first place team second place team kagero six one mega colony unknown and oracle think tank went five and two let's take a look at this bug list i see nothing wrong with it uh, the kagero list is pretty basic and the oracle think tank list is also pretty straightforward Third place, OTT 7 and 0, oh, Grand Blue 5 and 2, and Spikes 4 and 3. So, statistically speaking, this, oh, this, okay, so this went undefeated in Swiss, and this Grand Blue deck did statistically better than the first place one. Um, interesting, five draw triggers. I guess to try and dig for Baskirk? Hmm. Odd, but yeah, so here's your uh, Oracle Think Tank list you want to reference if you want a good idea of how this deck runs. Woo! And then you've got this here, Spikes. Then we've got our fourth place, Mega Colony 4 3, Grand Blue 1 and 6. Ouch. And Oracle Think Tank 4 and 3. Uh, hmm. 
I'm really disappointed that this went one and six because it looks nearly identical to the one from the first place team. Okay. And yeah, so that's it for that tournament. So a good showing of Grand Blue and not as much Dimension Please as I thought there'd be. Kagro and Oracle Think Tank, though, still proving that they are the two top dogs of the format. And uh, Set 2 is going to have to do a lot to change that. Although Murakumo might be able to at least handle the Oracle Think Tank deck because of the Zambaku deck. Alright, so next up we have the 193 Team VGCS, which has 14 Oracle, 14 Kagro, 13 Dimension Please, 9 Grand Blue, 4 Aquas, 4 Royal, 3 Royals, 3 Spikes, 3 Tachis, 2 Novas, and 1 Mega Colony. Our first place list is Kagero, Tachi, and Oracle Think Tank, which the Kagero and OTG decks records are posted, 5-2 and 6-1 respectively. They're the same list as before, so I won't go over them. So this is the Tachi deck. We don't know what it, it did, but it looks pretty standard. Second place is Ka Dimension Please, Kagero, and OTT, 4-3, 4-3, and 6-1. Um, so there's your DP list. It's the 3 Miracle Beauty build. Is that her name? Miracle Beauty? Yeah, this one. Um, and then our third place is Dimension Please 5-2, Grand Blue 4-3, and the last one is not known. Um, is this... So this is not the Miracle Beauty build. This is also a pretty standard Grand Blue list, and there's your Oracle Think Tank list. And then fourth place is Royal Paladin, which only its record is known, 5-2. And then we have Kagero. And Tachikaze. So, what can we really take of this? So, yeah, I post, I comment down below what the hell is up with the rec with the records because a lot of them are like barely over 50% win rate. The four threes, and then you've got some five twos, which is better. But OTT still looks like it's the deck to beat, and Kagero is starting to come behind it. And then Dimension Place and Grand Blue are fighting it out for the third slot as they both to be topping and are popular. After that, you've got Spikes and Tachis. After that, Royals. And then you've got Nova Grappler, Mega Colony, and lastly, Aqua Force. Holy shit, Aqua Force did it ever flop. But when you're... The thing about that deck is, like, it's really only good if you hit fronts. Otherwise, it's, like, just a worse Nova Grappler deck. And it's, a, it's unfortunate, as I know a couple of people who are fans of Aqua Forest, and they're bummed that the clan is, well, shit. On the other hand, though, our equivalent of Asian Eyes White Dragon is also an Aqua Forest fan, so seeing his favorite deck get shat on is satisfying to some degree. And that's pretty much all I gotta say for now, so uh, thank you all for watching. You can check this out yourself via my blog, which I will have posted in the comment section below, or in the description box below, as well as a link to episode 13, which I do a review. And that's all for it. So thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Boostar89, checking out.